Yo, what's going on guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at Constantine. Uh, he has awesome crowd control and also his weapon is really good with just taking out a lot of like massive amount of, amounts of mobs because uh, his chain gun is really, really excellent. Um, his only downside is that he's really slow and clunky since he is kind of considered like a tank class. So uh, we're going to run into it with uh, just his base weapon and whatever mods I have. I don't really have a whole lot of mods on him because I don't really play him that often. But he's still pretty awesome, especially when he's in the right hands. Forget it. You can shred people to pieces. But yeah, let's jump into a mission and I'll show you a little bit what he's like. Okay, so we just made it into a mission. Um, what we're going to do is just uh, kind of take a look at the weapon and how that works before we start getting into the power. But um, the way you want to get started is pretty much by holding down the, the fire button so that you see right in the center is starting to build up the actual chain. This is basically like uh, uh, warming up the, the chain gun so you can just start shooting right away. Because if you don't have it warmed up, you got to sit there and wait for it to load up and then you, you're not going to have time to like actually shoot at something. Um, so the first thing you want to do is uh, make sure that that's constantly up. Um, the only thing, the only problem with it is that you're going to be uh, basically stressing yourself out by doing it so you want to tap really slowly uh, the way I usually do it is I'll aim down the sight like this so that the stress goes down and then I'll just kind of like click it just to keep it the chain gun moving you see so that you can go straight into action so whenever you see something pop up you can just shoot at them real quick um, the best part about this weapon is that you don't have to reload you know so all you got to do is just make sure that you have it fired up so that you can go ahead and start shooting that's the, the first thing you want to do but let's try to get on this guy see that's the only downside with this um the fifth console in general because they're always they're really slow um they don't have a, a way to like sprint or anything so you're pretty much stuck having to um just run very casually slow you know so that's the the biggest downside with them but other than that they they're really strong characters so uh like if there's a hurric on on uh, antagonist or something and they, they try to snipe you usually they can't one shot you unless they do a full ch charge shot and maybe if they got mods on their weapon, like they're actually like buffed up their damage on it or something. But usually they can't one shot you. So that's the, the best part about it. His actual uh, ability is like basically a giant force field bubble that just kind of like throws everybody outside of it. Watch, I'll show you right now. I'm going to put it on. It just knocks them out of the, the force field. So everybody that's inside of this bubble gets just launched out. You can also shoot the bubble to move it around. So you can basically move it to a place that you want it to be like let's say if uh, you got a crowd of people right directly in front of you you can pretty much like slaughter them by just uh, by just straight up like pushing them away and then just nailing them with that I've seen a lot of antagonists that would actually um, be really smart about this and they would uh, basically pop the bubble right when somebody's about to grab and and basically pin them up against a wall so so pretty much if i used it like right here and there was an antagonist right in front of me right in this section they'll be pinned to that wall and i can just go ahead and just shoot the shit out of them until they're dead or i can grab them you know so that's that's what's really awesome his ability is amazing especially when done at the right time take this guy out real quick let's go turn in these olives you see like there's a bunch of people coming up right now let's use the ability you see they all got launched out then you can pretty much like just take them out from there see it's like super easy mode <laughs> really nice crowd control he has you just got to watch out that you don't overheat the weapon other than that like he's he's actually really strong let's get some health back boom all right now let's just go to the turn in this olive too bad i would really like that olive right there but i I'm already maxed out, so I might as well just turn it in. Oh, this guy, really? That's why you got to be prepared for situations like that when somebody sneaks up on you. Um, if you don't keep the, the, you know, the chain gun fired up all the way, like, like I am right now, you're pretty much putting yourself at a disadvantage because you got to sit there and, like, charge it up again to be able to shoot. So it's definitely a good idea to keep in the habit of, of like, basically... Uh, hitting your fire button over and over like I'm doing right now to basically keep it at a full charge So like this guy's gonna come up There he is. He's down and then you can just knock him out like this So that's pretty much how you do it as an antagonist like if or if you were fighting an antagonist You'll do the same thing You just kind of like hit him real quick with some with your uh, firepower because this weapon is amazing 
And I don't even have it buffed right now. So if I actually like leveled it up, then forget it. Like this thing will probably be ridiculous. I can't wait to see what his other weapons are like. So I'm slowly unlocking all the weapons for each of the classes or each of the characters. So uh, I'm getting there. Slowly but surely, we'll get them all. And then uh, I'm going to do reviews on each one. Um, this guy is running kind of fast, so I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get up to him. Let me charge up my weapon. Here we go. See, he's down. Melee. He's super easy. He's so, he's so badass. As long as you're, like, constantly looking around and you know what you're doing, then, uh, you'll be alright. You're pretty much invincible. And I, I've always found it way easier to just like shoot the ones with the olive like that, get them down to one HP so that they're like limping, and then just finish them off from there. Because if you if you try to like melee them or grab them, sometimes they can block your grab, or even um, worst case scenario, they'll land up like shooting the shit out of you and like killing you. You know, so you gotta be really careful. Ah, uh, I wish I had time to finish this mission, but uh. Unfortunately, I got to get ready to get to work. I did this video kind of late. I should have done it a little bit sooner. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't. And I'm definitely going to be covering some more of these uh, characters. I still got one more to cover as far as like the fifth console. And then I got to work on like basically getting more gold so I can get the others. But um, yeah, we'll get to that later, guys.